All right, so Blender has a known bevel issue, and this is something the developers are aware of. And um, it's something that you've probably come across, but you didn't think much about because no one's ever really talked about it. But I'm going to give you an idea of what this thing is and how it looks. So we're going to just create a shape like this real quick. And when you start to bevel edges, right, yeah, then your bevels, give it a count, in this case, eight on that one. Do eight here. We'll just use eight on everything. But let's go ahead and start beveling this all out. And sometimes you might want to turn the loop slide off as well. Yeah. And uh, so what we're looking at, I'm going to mirror it real quick. Boom. Shade it auto smooth. You might want to crank your auto smooth up perhaps. Uh, or do a weighted normal. Uncheck, keep sharp, bump it to 100. If it shades right, it shades right. Okay. There's a couple things in here going on right now. And so what we can see is that, well, <laughs> it's this weird line kind of generated on all these bevels. This is something that the, the Blender developers know um, that exists. So what's the fix to this, and how do you stop it from happening? Well, truthfully, the only real solution is not the bevel, unfortunately. But... Um, there's another little way of getting past it, kind of. If I'm going to use Mesh Machine to do this, unbevel it, right? So unbevel with Mesh Machine looks like this, boom. And you can see it marks it sharp, right? And if I press S, it won't. Okay. Now, when we bevel, we would get the same results, except we're going to change the shape to 0.7. It's going to give you a different curvature to it. But what this curvature is doing, right, if we take a look at it, at 0.5, it looks like so. Okay, and at 0.7, it tightens it up kind of like this. Uh, so what it's really doing is it's making these little edges here become flatter is what it's doing. Okay, and um, so it might not be the most optimized way of laying out geo, but the thing is, is that it's going to help solve that shading issue a little bit. And you'll see now that we've done this. Well, it's it may be still there, but it's not as noticeable, right? So somebody was asking about this and why I said, uh, in the previous video, to use 0.7, that's why right there. Uh, unfortunately, that's just um, something you're going to have to get used to doing if you plan on using a lot of bevels. With a hard ops add-on, that's kind of standard. Master Z and already did that, so for the developers there. And so you don't have this problem as much, but anybody else will certainly run into it. If they didn't realize that 0.7 actually kind of helps eliminate that problem a little bit anyways. And so you'll have to go back and re-bevel things, unfortunately. Uh, if you don't have Mesh Machine, it's going to be extremely hard to uh, make that happen, right? So you do want to get the tools you need for whatever it is you're doing, whatever workflow you're doing, and uh, put them to use, okay? So that's just what happens to be one of them. You can see here, clear clear as day like this is a pretty good corner now but this is looking really kind of weird right so we bevel it okay you'll see looks a lot nicer now all right so that's the bevel issue guys if you ever run into it that's how you solve it for the most part uh, i'll check you out in the next one all right take care